Have you received a voluntary severance program offer from Norfolk Southern? You need to watch this video. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, railroaders from Norfolk Southern specifically have been reaching out to me. Uh, they've been offered a voluntary uh, severance package, you know, to leave the railroad. Uh, basically, we'll give you a certain amount of money uh, in a lump sum in order to, uh, you know, relinquish your rights to work on the railroad, right? They're looking to downsize the railroad. And so I thought I'd go through this. Some of the things, I, I got some of the information from the some of the employees to review. So I thought I'd do a general video. Uh, for these employees as they make the decision, you know, it's coming up here in February to make these decisions. So uh, let's just go through it and hopefully this will help some of you to give you some ideas of what to think about, right? So uh, VSP is Voluntary Separation Program, right? Railroad, once, I, once again, looking to cut down costs, see where there's redundancies, that type of thing, uh, and shrink their expenses. So it's specifically only for non-agreement employees. So, right, those agreement employees and the crafts, you don't have to worry about, it, all right? The employment with Norfolk Southern will end on April 15th of 2024. So after that day, you will no longer be connected to uh, the railroad or Norfolk Southern, all right? And then after that, uh, 30 days after, you will receive a lump sum payment. All right, now how does that lump sum payment work? It's equal to three weeks of pay uh, times your years of service. So I gave an example here. So just to make it easy, let's say somebody makes $104,000 uh, gross pay, right? $2,000 a week, okay? And they have 25 years of service. Uh, then the gross lump sum amount would be $150,000. Now let's go through what the taxes are here. So that puts you in the 22% bracket, assuming married filed jointly, okay? You gotta pay $33,000 or sequester it, $33,000 in federal income tax around there. Obviously, uh, you know, that's the marginal rate, but that's best to plan for right there. And then assuming, let's say you're in Georgia, okay? Some sort of state income tax, you know, every state's different, but let's just say Georgia, that's where Norfolk Southern headquarters is. Uh, I think they're instituting a flat tax this year of 5.549%. So that's another $8,235 there, you know, roughly, give or take. Uh, then you have the tier one tax, which is equal to Social Security, 6.2%. So that's $8,717. Uh, that's a little less because remember, uh, the uh, tier one caps out a certain amount. So that's why that doesn't exactly come out to 6.2%. Same with tier two, 4.9%, uh, you would owe an additional 4,757, and that would cap out your tier two for 2024, okay? And Medicare has no income limits, so that's 1.45%, so that's an additional $2,175. So on that $150,000 lump sum, your net out of that is gonna be 93,116 give or take a few dollars, but that's the way to think about it, right? Take away that lump, add in all those uh, deductions that come into it. Now, I put down a couple of items that, like I said, as I went through the, uh, the information that they provide and even the FAQs, there are some things that uh, really relate to the railroad retirement, so it wasn't covered. So uh, no deferrals into your 401k with the severance, right? So you say, oh, geez, I got a lump sum. I like to put some of that into the 401k defer the taxes on it, okay, can't do that. So there's no deferral into the 401k with that money. Very, very important. So now that all that money becomes taxable. Uh, I mentioned this already, but that money is subject to tier one and tier two taxation, which kind of is weird in my opinion because you've separated from the railroad um, and then you get paid out 30 days later and they're taxing as if you're a railroad, but whatever it is, what it is. Um, no service months credited for those tier two contributions, right? So you've contributed out, you've paid out for those, uh, those uh, additional months for all 2024, but there's no uh, credit for those months of service because you're no longer uh, earning credible railroad service, okay? 
that's part of the uh, severance there. Uh, no unemployment during the severance pay period, right? So you can't say, oh, I've left the railroad. I'm now going to collect unemployment. It doesn't work that way because they, the way the Railroad Retirement Board looks at it is uh, they've given you a gross pay of $150,000, right? And just going back to this example. So that's well, that's like a year and a half of pay. So you, there's no unemployment claims that you can take uh, there. So the idea of saying, oh, it's April 15th, I'll collect unemployment for a couple months. Can't do that because you have a lump sum payment. So that's very important to remember, really gets into that budgeting and financial planning. Uh, now, if you're gonna retire, retirement can start right away, right from that separation date of April 15th. So, you know, if you're uh, gonna retire, you know, assuming you're 60, that's the point when I talk about retirement, right? To collect your annuity. Uh, you're 60 and you have at least your 30 years, or if you're 62 and have less than 32 years, you can start your retirement right away. All right. This is very important also. If you have 25 years of service, you'll be uh, considered deemed. And that's very important. So what that means, if you're deemed because your job has been taken away from you, all right, and you were not offered another position, position, right, as a non-agreement employee, uh, it clearly states that they're, they're not offering any other positions in the non-agreement sector. That means you're deemed. So therefore, you can go out and get another job and have no risk of that current connection. All right. So you, let's say you're 57, say, oh, I got maybe three more years till uh, retirement. You can go get a job and have no risk to that survivor annuity. Very, very important. Um, just picked up on that one. That was, that's a good one there. It uh, really is. Uh, and then this one is uh, you're due a salsa uh, payment at retirement. So I just salsa, this is unbelievable. Separation allowance of lump sum amount. All right. So they must have loved when that acronym came up. So basically what that means, right, you're overpaying your tier two for 2024. You're not getting any credit for it. Right, you're not getting any credit for it because you didn't. You never worked one day of the month. However, they've taken the uh, tax money and they're holding it there. So when you collect your railroad retirement, that overpayment of forty-seven fifty-seven will come back to you on your railroad retirement uh, as a salsa payment. So there you go. Uh, very interesting stuff. So this is. Uh, these are all the key factors. Like I said, you got a big lifestyle decision to come up ahead of you as you make this decision if you want to go or not. But really crunch those numbers and understand if that's going to work for you. You're near retirement, especially if you're, uh, you know, if you have those 25 or plus years. You know, I really recommend if uh, look for something else in the industry to get to those 30 years. That's that's really the big one. It's getting that 30 years. So. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Please share this with other uh, Norfolk Southern employees that you m know might be making this decision. All right, big decision. All right, and until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.